Hey guys, this is Mike, and you are watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Sunday, June 9th, 2019, and today I am in Tioga County, Pennsylvania, fishing in the Tioga State Forest. And Tioga County is one of the northernmost counties in central Pennsylvania. It borders the state of New York. I've never chased wild brook trout here before today, and this stream next to me is about a four and a half mile long tributary. I hiked in at the mouth. It's a little smaller than I might have expected, but as with a lot of these streams, once you get up into the woods, sometimes you're surprised at the size of some of the pools and ripples that you'll find hiding up there. There are no easy access roads in and out of here. It's going to be a, a long hike in and out. The water temps are coming in around 56 degrees today. So it's right where it should be. I have my natural mosquito repellent on. Now that we're hitting the summer months, the bugs get pretty bad back in here. And some places are worse than others, but I'm hoping I don't get bit up too bad today. It's all part of summer brook trout fishing. This is a vintage rod series. I'm gonna walk up here and show you guys the rod that I brought with me today. And we're gonna look to catch them all on dry flies today. So excited to be back out here in Pennsylvania. Guys, let's go do some wild brook trout fishing. Okay guys, I got my Able TR2 out here again today. And the vintage fly rod that I'm fishing today is a fiberglass Fenwick rod that I purchased on eBay a couple weeks ago. And I don't know much about it other than that it was part of an estate sale and that it has the model number FL72-6 on the side. I'm guessing the 72 stands for 72 inches because it's a six foot rod and the dash six stands for using a six weight line. But if anybody knows anything about this rod, I'd appreciate some viewer help. I did read online that Fenwick made yellow blanks back in the 60s and 70s, and this looks like maybe a custom wrap blank, but I don't know for sure, so your help is appreciated. Today for my dry fly, I'm going to use the Lance Egan corn-fed caddis. This is a very CDC heavy pattern. It uses a hydrophobic poly yarn tied in the middle got an olive body and it's very easy to see on these small brook trout streams in Pennsylvania. Love fishing this pattern. I would not recommend using a cheap floatant like a gel floatant like gink on this. I'd use something higher quality like a Shimazaki liquid floatant. Should keep you going all day. So we're gonna head out here and start working that in these beautiful riffles up here in this Tioga County tributary. Guys, let's go take a walk in the woods.
a beautiful wild brook trout. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish up here in Tioga County. It's been a challenging day of fishing coming up the rocks and these waterfalls and I had no idea that this tributary was gonna be as scenic as it was. And there's not even a hiking trail that comes up in here. So really a treat for a fisherman who's never been here before to come up in and, and see some of these things. The fish, you know, it's tough down low. I don't know if there was a brown trout population that was pushing the brookies out, but once I got up in about a half mile, I finally started finding the brook trout, and they were hard fighters, definitely wild fish, eating that corn-fed caddis, and it was a blast catching them on this little six-foot Fenwick rod. I really like this rod. I'm interested in possibly changing the cork handle out, because uh, it has some chunks missing, and. If anybody has tips on a video or, or a website link for how to change out a cork handle on a vintage fly rod, that they want to leave that in the comments. I'd be appreciative of that. So it was just a lot of fun. And I only got maybe halfway up the section of this trip that I wanted to fish. So I'll have to come back another day. But I got to finish up. The mosquitoes are really, really bad this year. Just as bad as last year. You know, it was wet again this spring. And they're just everywhere. I mean, I'm my arms are covered in mosquito bites, so not fun. I need to find some long sleeve uh, clothing that'll keep the bugs off. But anyways, I gotta hike back out of here, guys. I appreciate you watching the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. So I'll catch up with you next time. And I'm heading out. See you guys.